Greenville, South Carolina, where Winthrop will host preseason favorite and reigning Big South champion UNC Asheville in the bb and Big South Game of the Week. Hi, everybody. Ralph Patterson along with Nate Ross. And, Nate, big game. In fact, both of these teams coming off really tough non-conference losses. Uh, most important, they got the big checks. None of them bounced, but now it's big South basketball. They play the out-of-conference schools. They get to practice, no classes. Now it's time for hoops in the league. We want to talk about a couple guys. In fact, UNC Asheville has the best backcourt in the in this league. Let's talk about Matt Dickey. Well, Prim and Dickey are really good, but Matt Dickey is the man for his basketball team. You can see it right there. He leads the team in many categories. He's an all-around player. He can handle the ball, and he can be a two-guard as well. For Winthrop, it's all about Andre Jones. Big-time game, last game in a loss at Georgia, but he's the man for his basketball team. He's a two-guard. He plays off the ball, but he can score, and he can drive, and he can score in many, many different ways. That's two really good players, and in fact, if I had a vote now for preseason player of the year, or it might be, it might go to Andre Jones. He's pretty darn good. No question about it. Very good basketball player. Now it's time for our advanced auto parts keys to the game. What do the Bulldogs have to do to get a W? Well, for Asheville, really important. They have to stay five-dimensional. They score in double figures. The five guys do. They got to share the rock because your opponent doesn't know where it's coming from. You flip it over, and for Winter. They got to mix up their classes. Freshmen and seniors are the main contributors and defend outside in. Asheville's going to drive the basketball. You got to play that first. Starting lineups and the tip off will be coming up next. It's the Bulldogs of UNC Asheville against the Winter Peagles on the BB&T Big South Game of the Week. The financial landscape keeps changing. It's tough to navigate. Full of too many followers and not enough leaders. And BB&T, we help our mortgage clients know which way to steer. By sharing more than 135 years of financial knowledge, you and your family have the information you need to move in the brighter direction. Talk to us today about your mortgage needs. BBNT, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. So your policy looks good. Is there anything else? Why'd you buy my husband a Falcon? I didn't buy anyone a Falcon. Saved us a lot of money on auto insurance. I used that money to buy a Falcon. There you go, you bought me a Falcon. So you got a Falcon. Most people in Swiss State Farm say on average about $480. What they're doing is they go out their business. Oh, that explains a lot, actually. Another reason people switch to State Farm. Count on your local State Farm agent to find you savings. Get to a better state. Change our staff to install your battery fast and free. Battery testing and installation fast and free. Advance Auto Parts. Service is our best part. Wipers, go! Brought to you in part by Advance Auto Parts. Service is our best part. By Geico. 15 minutes could save you hundreds on car insurance. And by BB&T. Sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Member FDIC. Here we are at Winthrop Coliseum in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Ralph Patterson here with Nate Ross. And Nate, uh, a big, big game today. They are the marquee players on this basketball team. And they're introducing Winthrop right now. Andre Jones had 33 points in a very tough loss at Georgia. It's going to be a good one. Let's take a look at our Pepsi starting lineups. Uh, senior dominated team for, uh, for Winthrop. But they've got uh, their best player for Winthrop right now. Andre Jones has been on a roll. And then Matt Dickey and J.P. Prim. 
the best backcourt in this conference. Yeah, very, very solid, very complimentary to each other. Five guys in double figures, and they share the rock very, very well. We mentioned in the open, both teams coming off tough losses uh, out of conference. Here's Randy Peel. They lost a tough one in overtime at Georgia the other night, but this is fifth year at Winthrop. He's one and one in the Big South this year. They had a win at Presbyterian, lost at Gardner Webb. That's Randy Peel. Hard working man right there. Looks like he never sleeps because he never does. Yeah, that's because he doesn't sleep. You're exactly right. There's a look at the UNC Asheville huddle. They are led by their coach. There he is, Eddie Beaton by his 16th year at Asheville. They are 6-6 six and six overall, 1-0 and oh with a six-point win at Gardner-Webb. And they played a brutal non-conference schedule. Yeah, we'll talk about that. They played the big boys, and that's what they want to do. That's what Coach Beatonball wants to do. And he hopes that his team is battle-tested because of that. They're in a gorgeous new arena when they, people go to his place to play at Asheville. It's big South basketball the rest of the way unless they're uh, involved in bracket busters. We're about ready to tip this one off and the official doing the tossing is Matthew Potter. He's today's referee. So we both teams play a little bit of zone, but mostly needs man, and that's the way we can start. Nashville with their first possession. Coach Peel said it once, he said it 40 times yesterday in practice. They will drive the basketball. Here's Prim, penetrating pitch to Dickey. Five seconds on the shot clock. Here's Dickey. Has to force up. Nope, passes. Shot clock violation. What a great first defensive possession for Winthrop. Well, that's really good basketball right there. They don't let you go where you want to go. They make you go where they let you go. Shot clock violation is the perfect first possession for a basketball team on defense. Winthrop on the attack. There's Jones. Tries to get it inside. Turnover. J. Jones a little too quick with the ball. They want to go inside when it does because they have a size advantage on Asheville. George Valentine's bigger than anybody on the floor right now. They tried to get it to him. He just rushed it a little bit. And the coach John Wooden say, be quick but don't hurry. Well, they hurried a little bit there. Let's see if Asheville can get a shot off this possession. Here's Jackson. <laughs> you're right. It's funny, but you're right. Atkinson, a slasher, throws one up. Running one-handed, no good. Stevenson misses the rebound. It'll be Winthrop basketball. Now, Coach Peel pretty pathetic. He said they'll drive the ball. They've driven it twice. Haven't scored yet. And uh, he's got to be happy with the fact that they missed, but not happy with the fact that they've got a couple of three-footers. Their senior point guard, Reggie Middleton. I'm not going to stop that inside. He nearly threw it away the first time. They're going to keep playing with the cover of their side of it. This is Derek Henry with the ball. Right back to Middleton. Now inside. Valentine goes to a jump hook. Rebounded by Atkinson. You can't help it. Better shot than that. Just got to make it. Valentine will make more than he'll miss him there. Valentine with the steal. Middleton coast to coast. Not unlike normal winter basketball that we're used to, but Coach Peel said, I'm letting them go a little bit this year. They've scored a lot of points. with another turnover, another opportunity. Jones with a nice pass. And the block. <laughs> Henry gets his stuff blocked. Back to Jones. Throws away. It'll be Astro ball. And you thought you were going to get back-to-back -back transition opportunities. Comes right down the floor. Not in my building. Great shot blocked by Reggie Middleton for Winthrop. Excuse me, wrong side by Chris Stevenson for Asheville. Biggest stat so far, three turnovers for Asheville, one for Winthrop. There's Grant. This is just aren't crisp where they want to be yet. Atkinson tries to go to work. 
Missed a tough shot. Rebound to Valentine. Here comes Lindquist. There's the three. By Derrick Henry. Shot it from 19. Went 21. Here's Dickey. He misses the three. Good really catching in rhythm. He almost fumbled the basketball. He was catching in rhythm. He got to pass it to his pocket. If he wants it, he wouldn't do that. Sloppy early. They're getting rid of him here. Miss Valentine is in the paint open. There's the wide open miss. That's Middleton. Here comes Astro. There's the three and the bucket. That's Chris Stevenson. Uh, great job there by Pim and then Dickey to find the other man and ex- make the extra pass. Good see Chris Stevenson sticks it. You gotta get back and protect the back in terms which means you gotta find shooters if you're playing Astro. They will put it up in three. Here's Jones. Shoots his first three. Misses. With it now one of six from the field. There's a nice pass in the lamp. Missed by Stevenson. Balance call. Call that foul on Jackson. Over the back, I guess. Yeah, I thought it was going to be shot. In the lineup for Nashville, that is Trent Meyer. And here's Middleton. And we talked about Winthrop grinding it out. That's what Coach Peel did forever. They have picked up the tempo a little bit. That's very hard. And if they transition opportunities, they would just walk it out. No more. Got better athletes than you can use them. Nice to me. Valentine. He delivers. Well, George Valentine's got to touch the ball a lot. Whether he shoots or not isn't important, but if it gets into the block and then kicked out, it's much easier for threes. If he has an advantage, he can get hot and make him in, in, uh, in bunches. Another turnover. That pass was intended for Jeremy Hart, the big fella. It is Winthrop 4, UNC Asheville 3. This is the pb t Big South Game of the Week. We'll be back. At Kroger, we take a lot of pride in the quality of our meat. Strip steaks, porterhouse, T-bone. What would you like for dinner tonight? How about a nice juicy steak? I'll cut your steak just the way you like it. You want fresh seafood? We always have a great selection at Kroger. It's always fresh. You're going to love the way it tastes. Every kind of meat I put out is absolutely fresh. Quality and freshness are a way of life at Kroger. Quality meat at Kroger. Quality meat at Kroger. Quality meat at Kroger. Quality meat at Kroger. Get more value for the way you live. Every day at Kroger. On my journey across America, I've learned that when you ask someone in Texas if they want big savings on car insurance, it's a bit like asking if they want a big hat. That's good. Or a big snake. Big head. I think we have Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Broadcast booth. I'm Ralph Patterson alongside Nate Ross. Winthrop leads this one 4 3. There's some Winthrop Eagles fans. Lots of championship banners uh, in this arena, Nate. Great tradition at this school. Of course, Randy Peel right now before him, Greg Marshall, who is now Wichita State, and they hung a lot of banners. Randy Peel's insisted on those those teams, too. And then his first year, he went to the NCAA. So, Great tradition, great winning for the Winter Beagles here in Rockville, South Carolina. 
BigSouthSports.com is the place for the latest news and results from across the league. While there, sign up for the Big South Network presented by State Farm. To view live web streaming of the conference's regular season and championship events. Also register for the North Myrtle Beach Weekend Getaway and visit the online store. All this and more at BigSouthSports.com. A little pressure and finally up. I thought it paid off, but that's yes, it does. Change in defense after the timeout. Good move. He didn't bother getting around the block a few times. He you know, yeah. was a great coach, assistant at NC State for years under the great man Sloan, and then at Davidson as a head coach, and now at Asheville for his 16th year as the boss. JP Brim. Tries to create something. Guard is well by Middleton. There's the baseline drive in the block. <laughs> Mr. Valentine knocked that one back. That was a heck of a block. He finds it perfectly. Drive baseline. He wants to lay up. Valentine says, nope. Caught it before it reached its peak. Other than that, it was pretty impressive. Graham on the inbound. There's Dickey, pump fake, off glass, and bucket. That's the Matt Dickey that UNC Asheville fans love. Asheville leads now 5-4. Here's Middleton. Gets inside the Valentine. That foul on Jeremy Harn, the 6'8", 230-pounder from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. It's Middleton. Still gets man-to-man for Ashford. Baseline drive. Jones gets it inside the downtown. What a great pass. Jones, I think that's what he's going to do with it before he even touched it. Good downtime for the easy layup. That was an excellent play. It's a nice pass inside. Hard tries to do his thing, turns and scores. That's Jeremy Hard with the bucket. When a lady goes over the left shoulder, he leaned into Valentine, he got Valentine leaning into the lane. And then a nice little drop step for the layup. And Arn in there, he's got good size to match up with Valentine. Six foot eight, that show June, that's pretty impressive. They've got to play him because they have such a size advantage and they're going to win if they don't put guys like Arn in the game. There's Matt Morgan into the lineup. He hits the baseline jumper. He's a veteran, Nate. Nice play by him. Pick and roll, pretty kick and pops, pretty. That's exactly what he did for an easy one. Back door cut. Here's Dickey. Little scoop and layup. Nice left hand. Good for an angle. Same shot. Just use the rim as the screen. Matt Dickey's very creative. Obviously, he's a great three-point shooter as well. But when you can get that, you've got to honor that. You back off and you hit the three on him. Tried to get it inside to Morgan, loose ball, and they call Morgan with the foul. And George Valentine took all day to throw that ball, and that Morgan, just a quick fake and a quick pass, would have been a little more effective. Not Morgan's fault. Let's take a look at Harn's bucket. Back to a cut. Oh, this is the big post up inside. Drop to the middle. Valentine's leaning over that left shoulder. Goes back the other way for an easy one. That was nice. Here's J.P. Prem. Gets a screen. And the Oscar has five guys averaging double figures, so they can score from anywhere on the court. Makes them very versatile and very difficult to guard. Traveling on J.P. Prem. A little surprised when John Bonin threw the ball back and I don't think he was expecting that. And consequently moved the foot. With a three-quarter court pressure. Here's Jones. Stops and pops. Misses. Nice 
nice hustle by Joab Jerome with that rebound, and then Winthrop will keep possession. I'm sure Jones will make those shots. You got, you got to shoot yourself out of the shooting slump, and he's not in a slump on the stretch of the week. Have lousy memories. And did he have a game at Georgia the other night? 10 of 15 from the floor, 4 of 6 from the three point line, made all of his free throws. That's a good season. Wow, there's another turnover. Gonna be Asheville's ball. A lot of turnovers early. As we talked about, not a lot of, uh, no passes to go to, a lot of practice time in a couple games. And both these teams coming off a loss in their last game, so trying to heal their wounds. He's playing with the play. Rebound to Jerome. Here come the Eagles. It's Andre Smith. He's a freshman. Started several games earlier in the year. I don't know about Andre Jones. He hasn't just a hill. Jump hook. George Valentine. Andre Jones, nice assist for a couple of them. Hit Valentine twice. There's the missed shot off the break. Rebound to Valentine. Whitfield trying to push it. Here's Jerome. He draws the foul. Good job. Missed shot. Push the basketball. Get them in a little scramble situation and going to the line. Winthrop leads UNC Asheville. 10-9. We'll be back after these messages. It's the bb and Big South Game of the Week. Blades UNC Asheville 10 to 9 here. Get social with the Big South. Join the growing network of fans on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Blogger. It's easy to find because all these sites link from BigSouthSports.com. Follow, watch, like, and share with the Big South. I've done that on Facebook, Nick Ross. Uh, I put us on Twitter right before the game. Go to hashtags. I don't even know what you call this. But anyway, I put us on there. To watch us. Big Are you my social media guru? No, I'm a novice at that. That's Joab Jerome. 6'5", 197 pounds soft. I got the Facebook down. The Twitter, the Twitter sent the new for me. It's not like it takes a genius. <laughs> it's an eight year old guy. Jerome makes two free throws. Coach Peel saying get back. A little speed game. They score in a hurry. Randy Peel saw that coming before the ball was even in the Asheville players' hands. And his players couldn't react quick enough. Zone press by UNC Asheville. Here's Jones. This is everything. Morgan gets the rebound as he falls, draws the foul. Hickey and Morgan kind of wrestling for the basketball. And Smart move by Morgan to throw the ball up there, and there's the foul. He got 
got to get back in a hurry against UNC Asheville, mate. Well, you have to. You can see JP Pimp just beat everybody back down the floor. For an easy way, Coach Valentine was there, but he wasn't in position. Easy cheap for Asheville. They did very well. They have really good athletic quick cards. And that's after a made free throw. So, uh, what do you used to call that? Uh, speed game? That's what it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's so much fun to coach, and it's so frustrating to coach against. Because you tell your guys in practice how quick they are, but they don't realize until they see it, and that time they got burned by Matt Morgan makes two free throws. He's a 64% foul shooter. Hard to simulate that in practice. It's not like they don't know these guys. They played against them. Nice catch. Great catch. Into the lane. That's Chris Stevenson. And here comes Asheville. Andre Smith trying to create something. Pulls it back out. This is Jerome. So Fifteen footer miss by Larry Brown. Who just checked into the lineup. And it will be Asheville's ball. He's right down the block it at the far end. And then... Not quite had his feet on the on the, on the uh, attempted jump shot. Freshman. They go up here for the great flex. Now the fourth union. This could be Coach Alex last year. He's going to retire. I don't believe it. there about 50 years. What a great man and a great coach. Produced for her two players. Dickey tried to get it inside to John Wanunu, who Asheville has missed. He missed the last game uh, due to a family emergency. That's the sixth turnover by the Bulldogs. Yeah, a lot of turnovers in that. I can, I can see that on force because when you wasn't in position and Dickie threw it where he wasn't, it doesn't work that way. The press once again by Asheville. It's passive until you get in your half court, and then they try to jump on you a little bit. Patience, get into the middle, and the weak side, and it's easy. Not for that side, that's, that's the There's the three ball, that's Andre Smith. You just do it the same way every time. You just can't get fancy. It's easy to break if you keep the discipline. Another turnover. Here's Middleton. With the on a 92 run right there. Brown forces one up. Gets blocked. Ball gets in the middle of the press. Andre Smith is a recipient of a great pass. Got the defense in a little scramble mode. Easy three. It's hard to convince players. It's just not that tough a game. If you get trapped on the weak side, you swing it, you're going to have an open shot. It's easy on this side. When we used to see on the other side, Ralph, it wasn't that, it wasn't that simple to convince him. It's, it's not a difficult game to play. It's a difficult game to play well. Brand misses the three. Brown with the rebound. Andre Smith pushes it. Matt Morgan faces up. Tries to do his thing. Nice up and under move. Half over the move. Little Jack Sickner for you old timers that are watching at home. Kevin, uh, Kevin McHale, same thing. Got the defender straight his legs up and right under. Worked on that in practice a lot yesterday. He's putting his fist up, he's tired, trust me. If it comes to the other end, he won't be tired when he gets the ball. <laughs> that orange thing gives you energy. Jackson to Dickey. Dickey tries to score again, and Morgan blocks it. Hornsby with the parade, and he will draw the foul. The question was, was he behind the line for three shots? Yes, he was. He get three. Son of the great. Can you say singer Sean Ryder? I know he's a singer. Sean Ryder, Bruce Hornsby, he's always out way behind that. Not even a question. And there goes Brown dead into him. That's a good call. Hornsby is a freshman. Played at Oak Hill Academy. Yeah, I would Brown foul him. The great Hubie Brown. I've heard him say it once a thousand times. He never found a jump shooter. And especially now, you give him three opportunities. 
Orange just 10 of 19 on the year from the foul line prior to this afternoon, 52%. He's shooting over 50 from three. He had a really good game against the College of Charleston in the Atlanta shootout down in the Bahamas as well. And his dad was there for that one. We've been told his dad is not here for this one. He's had a great job. He sings songs and makes a lot of home games. Valentine with the pass to Larry Brown for the layup. The freshman gets a bucket. The question is how long will Coach Budenbach go with this press? The Winthrop's kind of figured it out the last couple of possessions. They don't look pretty doing it, but they're strong. Now an eight-point lead for Winthrop, and there's J.P. Krim with the foul. Valentine can score. Valentine can hand out assists, too. Down the middle, nice pass. They wanted to walk on Brown, but you can't walk if you don't have the ball and win in that possession. The freshman out of bounds gets it, too. You don't see a post player catching the ball on the run and getting an assist on a fast break very much. That's no, pretty good. It's impressive to see him do that. Big kid like that. See him. Been in big sack battles many years. Andre Smith in the corner. Can he get out of it? He draws the foul from J.P. Prim. He's playing really frustrated right now. Yeah, he's the ball over and he's got a good foul. Winthrop gets it going a little bit. They lead the Bulldogs. 21-13, we'll be back after these messages. Welcome to the Wow Zone at Triangle Rent-A-Car. We have it, and you know you want it. Big, stylish, roomy, and all decked out. Our selection of sport utility vehicles at Triangle Rent-A-Car is second to none. Navigational systems, roll stability, satellite radios, leather seats, DVD players. So lean back, close your eyes, and imagine yourself in a Triangle Rent-A-Car SUV. Triangle Rent-A-Car. Just tell us what you need. a credit card. You earn up to 25 cents per gallon off all marathon purchases. Every day, we help businesses return again, thrive again, reassemble so they might resume. We respond to chaos by recovering and rebuilding. Jobs, futures, a sense of security. We promise that we are ever known to live with big picture, that it's not just about business, it's about people and possibilities. Bell 4. Winthrop leads 21-13. Welcome back to the BB&T Broadcast Group. With Nate Ross, I'm Ralph Patterson. And my best side. Perfect. The man right there got on, got on, had a discussion. Tony Wisnett, and interestingly enough, Tony got the other two officials together to discuss what he and Coach Budenbach talked about. That's a little plot, and he deserves that. He's been in his reputation, he's been in his business for a long time, now he's talking to uh, Matthew Potter as well. Just getting his point across. He may have just been asking him, you know, if he got everything he wanted. Yeah, this is where he's going out for dinner, not after the game. Larry Brown with the shot and the foul. What a good looking freshman. When I came to practice yesterday, I was really impressed with Larry Brown. He's a very athletic kid. Um, he's about 6'6". Six, six. The only thing he's got going against him is he's a freshman, so he's going to make a mistake. He's got a lot of hops, and he's not afraid to shoot the ball. He did it early in the basketball game. He a good stroke. He just didn't make it from the free throw line. He has not shot many. He came into the game. One of five okay. on the year. And we're averaging two points a game, but he's an athlete. You've got to give kids like that a chance to get out there and do what they can do. So he misses two there. Here's Dickey. Hey, Coach Peel, you know you're playing against a very athletic team. Nice play. You know you're playing against a very athletic team in UNCASCO, so you got to put your athletes out there. Let's watch this great defensive play. 
Reggie Middleton, ball pass, Reggie saves it. He throws it right off. Asphalt player there, Kennard Jackson. Keeps possessing for his basketball team. That's a heads up play. You can see Asphalt again in a little three court quarter press. In the middle. This is Andre Smith, the freshman. Middleton stops at five. Most teams play him as a driver, Nate, because he's so good at taking the basket, opens up that shot for him. Yeah, he can shoot that basketball, and he's got the athletic ability to create a shot when he wants for him. Not a lot of guys can do that. He can. Ten-point lead now for Winthrop. Imagine they've got to do what they do best and guard people. This is Stevenson. Chris Stevenson draws the foul. Which people talked about chest the guy, chest the guy. That's what they do when they play defense. When the man makes a move inside, it's a smart uh, way to teach defense because you're not reaching with your hands. You're just throwing your chest into him, and there's not going to be a foul call. And then after that, they did reach down, and Andre Jones reached with his hand. Again, I believe that's his second foul play he's coming out. Well, he faked us out. He's staying in. And oh, he did come out and turn back in. Okay. Larry Brown will get a rest. Yeah. You don't have to be a rest for coach. Leave Andre Jones on the court. He's a good player. Stevenson at the line. They need to score here. UNC Astros had just one field goal in the last six minutes and 50 seconds. And when they missed, Astros gotten down the floor in transition. Excuse me, Winters gotten down the floor in transition. Success again. Court pass turnover. Here comes Hornsby. Here's Dickey with the drive. Off glass, nice shot. I thought he was going up underneath again. He saw the defender there, and that could be put up good play. Just get the ball in the middle to the biggest man in the third year downtime. The press is beaten. Fake a pass to make a pass. So you got to do a pass. Asheville stays in the zone press. And then back to man to man. Tough to do. You got the zone press in there, but because Winter doesn't know just the transition there, it's not that difficult. There's the deep three and the miss by Joe Jerome. It's going to be dangerous. Orangeby. Orangeby goes up for the shot. What their fans thought they drew the charge, but they did not. Let's take a look. It's all about the reef. Restricted area arc. Was he outside of it? He was, but was he set? Jeffrey says he was not. I tend to disagree. I think I'm going to agree with my partner, Nate Ross. I think that was 100% charge. First of all, you have to be outside of the arc. He was. Secondly, you have to be set, which means both feet have to be down on the ground. Are they down before he cuts off? They're down, yes. He hasn't left the floor yet, Hornsby. Hornsby has not left the floor yet. And take it in the chest. You did all the things you need to do for an offensive foul. There's the miss. Valentine the rebound. Went to still with a, a six-point lift. Much easier to make that call. It's in slow motion and we can stop. We got the kick three times. Yes, very good. Cool. There's a travel. Andre Jones having a tough time getting on track. Andre Jones had a tough game. Missed his first couple. Had a toe issue yesterday in practice. Did not practice a lot. Had practice in the beginning. And then didn't do much after that. Um, and it might be bothering him. I mean, Jones is always traveling the planet. If you fire up the play, that can hold the ball. He doesn't slow him. He just has trouble moving when he gets in practice. And he's stuck his foot in the middle of the ball. Nashville really struggling offensively. Stevenson off glass. There's a bucket. Now Asheville has seven turnovers and seven field goals. That's not a, a stat that Eddie Beatenbaugh would like. And Stevens did a great job there. Slipping the screen for an easy layup. High ball screen or ball screen is the biggest play in basketball. When you slip it, you catch it, you can throw it off for a nice pass. Winthrop keeps possession under their basket. And Robinson ran around the post that time, couldn't keep the ball for his team, but stopped the lab attempt. But big Mr. Valentine. This is where Winthrop's tough to work on a lot of this stuff, getting easy there. Here he comes. Oh, he gets a stick to the spot. 
touchdown. Well defended by Esco. Now downtime goes away. Jump hook and gets it. Right there. Unstoppable. You have you, the distance between your shoulders to keep the defender off. You can't block it. I mean, I don't know why, why more guys don't develop that shot. Jones gets a steal and moves it. Stevenson gets blocked from behind by Andre Smith. Let's look at this action. A little bit of scramble action. You can see right there. He's got a layup. Andre Smith says, "No, you don't." Blocked by the diminutive Andre Smith. Arn moves the handle, gets it back. And Dickey was in trouble, trapped on the baseline. And that one out of bounds and gets a foul out of it. He's a really smart move by Matt Dickey. If he stands there and gets trapped, he's in trouble. He fakes a pass, which makes the guys move a little bit. Then he just drives the basketball and they foul him. It's pretty smart. Jeremy Atkinson inbounds, and they turn it over. Here's Middleton. And a hard foul. James Bourne goes up for the layup. This is going to talk that one over. By rule, they can look to see if it's a flagrant. He's going to call it a flagrant one. Intentional foul doesn't exist anymore. It's a flagrant one or a flagrant two. So they're going to call a flagrant these shots. And the basketball. And, and when we come back, we'll see the free throws. But right now, with the bundle, a bit of a roll, we'll be back with more on the BB&T Big South Game of the Week. Sunbeltwindows.com for more information on how Sunbelt can help with all your projects. shoulder intentional. You can review that. You can't review a favorite one. They talked about it. The favorite one is essentially the old intentional fouls. He's going to get these shots. He knew going to get the ball back. And the basis is for uh, safety and didn't go after the ball and they deemed he didn't go after the ball. That's why the favorite one. James Bourne at the line. Makes the first. This is the second one. Coming up at halftime, it's the State Farm Halftime Report. We'll have interviews, some highlights, some stats. I think that's the time when we wish everybody a happy new year, even though it isn't yet. That's why I was hoping to spend New Year's with Dick Clark and I get Nate Ross. There's the miss. Here's Dickie. the block. How about that? Well, you can see one player's back. Middleton takes a 
but Forge could continue sending good regimental credit for getting there first and then making a spectacular block. Is that goaltending? No, I don't think so. I think that was the That was a missed three by Atkinson. And here's Jones. And the pass and the attempted hammer by Valentine. The athletes are coming out right now. Reggie Middleton on one end, Valentine cocked it at the other end. That's what it is. From the corner, watch this. Look out. That's pretty impressive right here. That was. He wanted that one. I wanted to see it too. That's yeah, nice that right. The athleticism of the Austria guard. Winthrop's got some athletes too. Oh, they're all athletic. Winthrop is extremely athletic and strong. Until they spent some time in the weight room. Derek Henry back in the game. Long time, 6 foot 0, 235 pounds senior. Well, he has eight points right now, three rebounds. He's four or five from the floor. Interesting start I saw in him. He always attempted coming into the game 14 free throws all year. It's a nice luxury for a guy to play in the post. And that's why Coach Peel said we got to get the ball inside, keep the man to the free throw line. Plus, the obvious thing is to put fouls on the pump. Eight point lead for Winthrop. Wanunu tries to throw it inside. He was trying to get it to Bernard Jackson, another turnover. He just wasn't there at first of all, and then he threw it over his head secondly. And you get that position for the duck and for the bounce pass. Keep the ball moving. You can pass it faster than they can run. That's what they're doing right there. Joey's pump fake. Misses. Here's Atkinson in transition. Dickey attacks. Sports. Tough shot, and he gets it. Very difficult. It's like a left, right handed quarterback running left. You'll see Dickey drive in with the left side and then pulls it back to his right hand after the contact and makes it. That's an impressive play. That's the real running one hander. He did the game last year at Coastal Carolina, and that young man right there intercepted the ball half court and threw it in from beyond half court to win the basketball game in the last regular season game. He's got a lot of tricks in that bag. He's a very, very good player. Dickey makes the free throw for the three-point play, the old-fashioned way. And travel. That's James Bourne in the middle of that press. Didn't need to dribble. Just pass the ball. Clean from one side. Catch it. Throw it to the weak side. That's why God made guards and God made forwards. He is not a guard. That was Winthrop's 10th turnover. And he looks at coach like, well, oh, I didn't turn over. So it's saying that's the 10th one in the game for a basketball team. We're not the halftime yet. That's not a good thing. But the best way to teach him, sit him. That's how you learn. Going to serve again. I think he's moved as nobody else moved. He's got a regroup, get a ball screen. Gets it to Atkinson. This shot is blocked. Here's Jones, and the layup. Finally, Andre Jones. Yeah, come on the outside shot, you get maybe a layup or something, you feel better about yourself and you saw the ball going through the basket. I've heard plenty of people say that, but it's true. It's just a confidence thing. Next time he gets it, you know, I know the last one, we'll have to make this one. I gotta believe the next one's going in. Inside two minutes in this first half. Pass. Jackson, miss, Wanunu with the rebound, and he draws a foul. Big athlete, Wanunu, he, he missed their last game due to a family emergency when they lost at Western Carolina. Now they need to regroup and find a, a contact, mate. Looking for a 20, and the amazing thing to me is they find it. And Valentine just found it. That's why I got LASIK surgery. Well, how can you know. find it if it's not in there and you can't see? Well, I don't know if it was Valentine's that lost it. But it's amazing to me that they actually, it is Valentine's. He's putting it on down in the corner there. But they actually see it. 
I lost one of the golf course once. <laughs> I mean, how you gonna find in the green grass? That's when I decided to play the game. But you are allowed to give him time. You don't have to call time out. You can give him time, put him, put him back, and give him let him look like what they're going to do. That's a lot of pressure, though, with the oh no pressure. With everybody in the arena watching him, and without a mirror, at least I've had a mirror to do. We got a couple thousand people watching. A lot of folks watching at home on the tube. That's pressure. That's pretty good too. It's Hopefully the crowd will give him a nice ovation. It's enough time she's been making right there. It's in good. It's pretty good. Gets a nice hand. He needs to be on that show minute to win it. <laughs> you could do that. That was impressive. Found it, put it back in, there okay. John Wanunu at the line, 6'8", 225 pounder from Maryville, Indiana. There's one rebound this game, no points as of yet. Now he's on the board. He shoots 72 percent from the free throw line. He's an athletic big guy. I saw Asheville play at Tennessee. He had a great game in Knoxville. He struck. Deliver the turnover from the pass because you know he can do that, get down and make free throws. Woodrow breaks the pressure, finds Jones. Thought he's going to pull the trigger there. Now, I love the way he never forces it. He doesn't have a shot, he doesn't take it. He's got one, he'll take it. He takes that one and carries it. Tell him to make the way up. He's got a little fired up about that one. He has not made one before that. He took a good thing about it. Asheville, it's halftime coming up, so we can't light him up too much longer. Wow, and Jackson answers Jones three with one of his own. He keeps done a better job attacking this press lately. It doesn't mean that the team guy's going to pull it off. With one little deflection, it's an easy opportunity. There it is. Turn over for Winthrop. Here's Dickey. Tried to go high, low a lot. To get it inside to Wanunu. He misses the jump hook. I understand that big guy's going to use that big piece of grass up there and bank it. Tim Duncan's not bad. He banks it every time. Okay, yeah. Randy Peel will call a timeout. You can only take four times out with you for the second half. So. Use it or lose it. Let's make sure everybody's on the same page. And get the last shot, I would think. He will try to run a play for 21 Andre Jones. Doesn't mean Andre's going to shoot the ball, but he made the layup. He just made the last three. He's your best player. Try to give him the basketball and let him make the decision as to pass or shoot. He's really good at coming off screens, and he's one of those guys that make the, the, that I like that he can square up and shoot it in a hurry. And a lot of guys just can't do that. Well, he can throw it when he can get you in his face. He can go up and over you. Still not forcing him to get shot. Maybe you see Coach Peel either designing one or writing down one that they've practiced over and over and over. I would think the latter. And they're going to get the ball right across from us at half court. Swift all the time they want. 22.6 is the return. So the shot clock is off. 22.6 on the game clock. That's what they're dealing with. Now the coach beating by trap. Now when he change defenses and, and goes over. The great Dean Smith would trap the ball and make you do something out of your rhythm. Many times, Coach Beaton by saw that. This is his time to play in the coach against the state. He's going to sit back. That's Reggie Middleton. Running it down. Six seconds. Six seconds. There's the shot. That was Derek Henry. With the miss. Jones never got it. They went away from him. Good half Winthrop hung in there. Winthrop leads at halftime 32 and 27 over UNC Astro. This is the DBT Big South Game of the Week. And coming up at halftime is the State Farm Halftime Report. owner, you need to choose the financial direction that's best for you, to find a clear path to growth and success. At BB&T, 
We support businesses of all sizes with personal service and advice. Sharing the sound financial knowledge we've gained over more than 135 years, so you can move ahead with confidence. Talk to us today about your business goals. BB&T, winner of 19 Greenwich Excellence Awards for business banking, more than any other bank. People everywhere are taking a stand and booking on choicehotels.com. I have the right to a guarantee that my rate is the lowest on the web. Do I ask for too much? Well, uh, sometimes. When I save 20% on my hotel, I do my happy then. Booking a hotel online needs to be easy. Wow. Book. Hello. It's your voice. It's yourchoicehotels.com. Get the best internet rate guaranteed and save up to 20% every day. Book now at choicehotels.com. State Farm Halftime Report. Earlier this year, we had a chance to visit with today's coaches to talk about with them the people that have made a difference in their lives. Let's listen in with Randy Peel and Eddie Beatenbach. Well, it's somebody you probably don't know, but uh, his name is Dave Twerzik. Dave Twerzik played at Old Dominion. Uh, I grew up there in Norfolk, Virginia, so I was basically was raised in that program and he played later went on to play for the Virginia Squires at ABA and uh, went and played for the Portland Trailblazers with Walton. Point guard, blonde hair, like floppy hair, knee pads and just he was relentless and he was like my favorite guy when I was growing up as a young kid. They all do. I'm a high school coach, uh, a gentleman by the name of John Carmody coached me in high school, um, John was a fireman, and he was tough as nails. We, we kind of grew up, I don't want to say the hard streets, but he coached us hard a little bit. Uh, very fortunate there uh, to have him. Uh, my college coach, I had a guy by the name of Ian Drake at Lewisburg College in North Carolina, uh, who was a legend, and then people I've worked for. I mean, I've worked for uh, a guy named Jim Cassiano, my first college job in Vermont when I didn't know what a winter coat was. Uh, I worked for a guy by the name of Billy Lee that coached at Campbell University, uh, Mike DeMint at UNC Greensboro, and I also worked with Greg Marshall. So I've been very fortunate. I've, I've had a great group of coaches that I've mentored under, and, and it's influenced me in a great way. As I grew up, uh, I was watching the NBA. There was only eight teams back then, and I really liked watching Will Chamberlain and Jerry West. Jerry West, I guess, because I was a guard, but both guys were impossible to guard. But uh, then along came Connie Hawkins, who was a do-it-all forward that could uh, play inside, play outside, and he actually played in the ABA for Pittsburgh, and I got to play against him on the playgrounds and realized how really good the barriers at that level were, and it gave me something to shoot for, but uh, those guys were the kind of guys I liked. I think I go back to, uh, I think and everybody would say this, goes back to their high school coach. Art Betts was uh, in Pittsburgh, played at Penn State, played football. He was a football coach and basketball coach, but uh, he never played favorites, and we always learned about attitude, and we always played hard. And uh, he, was, he was a great, great fellow. But after that, one of my high school teammates, David Brown, was, uh, was a great player. He was a year older than me, and I kind of learned to play copying him 
and following him. Uh, when I went to college, again, I'll go with coaches. Uh, I had four coaches in college. Uh, Lou Pasillo, Everett Case, Press Maravich, and Norm Sloan. And every one of them influenced me a different way. Uh, but other than other players, those guys, I think, influenced me more how to play the game and how to play the win. That was Randy Peel and Eddie Beatenbaugh, and that's the State Farm Halftime Report. We'll be back with more after this. Yeah, I'm married. Does it matter? You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Well, it's Jake from State Farm. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Count on your local State Farm agent to always be there for you. Get to a better state. Trains are staffed to install your battery fast and free. Battery testing and installation fast and free. Advance Auto Parts. Service is our best part. Wipers, go! State Farm Halftime Report, Winthrop leads 32 to 27. Ralph Patterson with Nate Ross and, and Nate. Randy Peel's got a lead. Do you think he's happy with the way they play? I think he's happy as he can be. JP comes out at two points now, and his guy had nine points, and he's holding Nashville at 33%. I'm sure he'd have like to cut the turnovers down. He knows Nashville's dangerous, but with 20 minutes to go, he's in a decent position right now. Well, let's see what uh, Coach Biedenbaugh has to decide for him. And, for this second half. We'll see what they go there. Folks, the Advance Auto Parts Big South Basketball Championships will be here soon. The men's new format will tip off February the 27th. For more information on the format and a chance to win prizes, check out the tournament Facebook page at facebook.com slash advanced championship. The women will play March 9th through the 11th at High Point for ticket information. Contact the Big South Schools Ticket Office or go to BigSouthSports.com. There's some happy fans and I wonder if they feel like going to the beach. This season, fans can register for the weekend getaway sweepstakes and win a fabulous vacation package to North Myrtle Beach. The prize package includes hotel accommodations, tickets to regional entertainment, and complimentary meals at several local restaurants. For more information, please visit BigSouthSports.com. North, North, North Myrtle Beach, it stays with you. More with the State Farm Halftime Report after these messages. It's a simple word, six letters, two syllables, but its meaning is powerful. Leader, on the playing field, in the classroom, in our communities, without great leaders, nothing can ever be accomplished. We develop leaders through athletics. We are the Big South Conference. Welcome to the Wow Zone at Triangle Rent-A-Car. We have it. 
and you know you want it. Big, stylish, roomy, and all decked out. Our selection of sport utility vehicles at Triangle Rent-A-Car is second to none. Navigational systems, roll stability, satellite radios, leather seats, DVD players. So lean back, close your eyes, and imagine yourself in a Triangle Rent-A-Car SUV. Triangle Rent-A-Car. Just tell us what you need. athleticism on both teams, and they definitely showcased it in the last day of 2011. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. I'll turn it over to my partner. Well, we talked about the great athleticism, and you see the great block there by Asheville, and then they hit threes as well. They can do all that kind of stuff. And then in transition, J.P. Clinton got it down the floor. That's only two points and a half, but those are big points. And then we talked about both the athleticism, they're tricky with a great and one for nine points, and he leads his team in this half. On the other side is Gennar, George Valentine. He blocks the shot right there. We talked about the 6'8 senior, how much he can do for his basketball team. They went to him often. They went to him early. And then he gets that one right there inside. George Valentine, he leads his team with nine points. Then Morgan, that's where the 101 moves here and goes up and under for an easy two. That was a great move early in the game. But Valentine leads his team with nine. Dickey's got nine for his team. And Winthrop has the lead here as we go into the half. But I think the athleticism and the execution and lack of turnovers is going to be a big difference going into 20 minutes to play. And I can see why Randy Peel wants to get the ball inside. He's got some guys that can do it. We'll be back for the second half after this. You sometimes take the long route just to see what you might discover. If you enjoy finding the art in science, you need the science in art. If you want to design a career, not just find a job. If you won't give up until you figure it out, then we have just the place for you. University of North Carolina, Asheville. It's a simple word. Six letters, two syllables. But its meaning is powerful. Leader. On the playing field, in the classroom, in our communities. Without great leaders, nothing can ever be accomplished. We develop leaders through athletics. We are the Big South Conference.
Welcome back to the Winter Coliseum. First possession, the second half, Eagles ball. Randy and Asheville didn't even have except when they pressed, and that was that three quarter, two, two, one step. So we'll see if they continue wide open. And they run a set play for Matt Morgan, who buries the three. Oh, we just showed him in the highlights of halftime, making a nice up and under move. He can make it from downtown as well. And here's Hickey, he tries to answer. Stevenson gets a rebound. Prim in the lane. There's another three. That's by Stevenson. And Middleton fouls Dickey going for the loose ball. We can play good defense there, but when J.P. Pim drives, he looks to pass. He's not going to shoot it at all. He can score. So he's found Red Man Stevenson miss the basketball, and then uh, Dickey with the foul. Uh, excuse me, Dickey got fouled, and still keeps it. And he is again, just finds the open man. Good call. That's a charge on Matt Dickey. And that was... George Valentine to do it. Valentine's doing well. He's scoring inside, he's passing, he's drawing fouls. You, you, you depend on your seniors to be those kind of leaders. And this is a big game. That's where we put the win this year. This is a big game that went to, excuse me, at um, Fort Worth at home, of course. But if you can knock off the team that's supposed to win, um, it gives you a lot of confidence going forward with the rest of your uh, Big South schedule. It would be huge for Asheville if they could win this game because that would give them a 2-0 record and both of those wins on the road. They won in early December uh, at Gardner Rec. He's another very talented basketball team. Morgan gets called for the travel. And at the beginning of the second half is starting out just like the beginning of the first half with turnovers. Season on conference pick. And another foul away from the ball. That call on Matt Morgan. He's a big strong kid. That was a heck of an Oscar performance right there. That's a third foul on Morgan. He goes out. He moved by Tim to draw the foul on Morgan. Just hit a three, so obviously he's dangerous. A loose ball. Jones almost loses the handle. Gets the easy one. Well, he didn't try to make a spectacular dunk, just make the basket. He really had the ball, so he couldn't have walked with it. But... Now a 10 point lead for Winthrop. The layups that got him going in the first half, then he hit a three to see if he does it again in this half. You think he couldn't really have a couple of point guys in the line. Dicky to Brent. Graham shoots the fadeaway off glass. Rebounded by Davis. This is doing what they've done for years. They just guard you in the half court. It's the Randy Peel. It's his reputation as a coach, and it's proving very well so far. And there's a tough shot, but he makes it. James Bourne. He got double teamed and split it. And Bourne, he was left-handed, went up and under for the left hand to lay up great play. There's a timeout called by Eddie Biedenbach. He has seen enough. So Winthrop now with a 12-point lead. UNC Asheville calls timeout. We'll be right back. Financial choices, large and small. When you make the right choices, you head in the right direction. At BBT, we've spent more than 135 years sharing our knowledge, helping clients become more informed in all areas of their financial lives. With our checking and savings options and online and mobile banking, it's easier than ever to find the direction just right for you. Talk to us today about your banking needs. Coliseum, there's Randy Peel 
talking to his troops, they're off to a great start. They are three for three from the floor this half. Asheville 0 for three and a quick timeout by Eddie Beatenbach. South Conference game is brought to you in part by Sunbelt Rentals. Get it done, rent it now. By Pepsi Max, zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. By Kroger, more value for the way you live. And by Glidden Professional, Glidden gets you going. There's the eagle. You probably know that guy. Hi, we're the good friends. That's Big Stuff, I believe is his name. We're on first name basis. I just call him Big. But Big is a really tight. And we talked about Winter Bay for three. Excuse me, Oscar Bay for three in the beginning of his hit. How to play Winter's defense. And the Mojis get in your face. Yes, Oscar missed the shots, but Winter's defense and the relentless effort to get in the face, get a hand in the face of every shooter, is paying off so far. Now, can they continue for another 20 minutes or so? Well, and Randy Pill forever has lived off of defense. They, you and I did a game. Winthrop at Radford two seasons ago. In the morning of the game, Winthrop practiced for about two hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. They love to play defense here. Middleton tries to get one there. Coach loves to play defense. And the players have to play right. practice. Well, they have to play or they will exactly. get on the court. Exactly. And they've been very successful over the years in playing that style. Even going back to the Greg Marshall days here. They play hard. They get after the intensity on guarding the ball right there. That's what it's all about. Nashville needs a bucket. Here's Jackson. Doing the old play called flex. Here misses. And rebound. Middleton pitches ahead. There's a little left-handed tip to Jimbo by James Bourne. Yeah, Bourne got the shot because Valentine was dead open in the post and they doubled him inside before he got it. Nobody to guard Bourne. Bourne hits it. And what Astro doesn't have is the post lead to the wing to for an easy off. They just don't have a post player in the game right now. Dickie from deep. Atkinson comes up with it, but loses it. Here's Middleton. Smart play. No number advantage. Pull it back and play offense. There's the drive and the trip. Joe Abjerome took it into the paint. Goes down hard, draws a foul. The reason I bring that up is if you look at Asheville, the biggest player on the floor is Kumar Jackson. The biggest player on the floor is Kumar Jackson at 6'5". There's going to be Stevenson and Jackson who are going to play a post position, but they don't have the 6'8 Valentine and Interpass to throw it into. And as I say that, Coach Peden Ball must have heard me. He's going to up. They didn't get a chance to get him in the game. They're going to bring him to post play. Here's Middleton. Finds Jones curling off the screen. Loses it. Good strip. Here's Plant. To Atkinson. And he draws the foul. And that is on uh, Valentine Bertillon's first. In transition, attack the rim. Attack shot blockers. He did. Had to double clutch a little bit. Valentine got it. There's Atkinson in the line. He has four rebounds. No points as of yet. There he is. He reverse jumps. What's that? That's right. He's a good one. That's a good one. Really important for this team, too. And, and guard signs with plays inside and outside. Really athletic. He saw a big 6 foot 8 Jeremy Horn come in from now. I suppose that's how they post presence. I think he's had that big block there and doing very out there. Middleton. Uses two swings up top. Unforced error there. You know, the double screen ran up there a lot in practice yesterday. The first screen goes to the middle, the second screen goes to the top. But he just lost the hand and turned it over and got that foot. And he's a guy, his teammate Jones got his thousand point at Georgia earlier this week. Reggie Middleton, I think, was 78 away from that going into tonight's game. Lots of minutes, lots of points in the, this backcourt. How good it this year. He gets a tie with another heck of a story. How good it this year. Jumper by Hornsby is missed. Middleton stops and pops. Misses. Here come the Bulldogs. Here come the Bulldogs. 
they finish. No dunk, but they got the important thing. Got the bucket. Absolutely. Got the basket. Stevenson, great. Flying down the lane in transition. They saw him. He didn't try to dunk it because he might have missed it. Just give him two points. That's all we need right now. We need points. Jones from deep. Misses. Valentine gets fouled by J.P. Craig. Every time Andre Green shoots it, you'll think he's going to make it. He's just that pretty to see it. Winter bleeds 41 to 30. We'll be back after these messages. It's the bb and Game of the Week. Every day you face financial choices, large and small. When you make the right choices, you head in the right direction. At bb and we've spent more than 135 years sharing our knowledge. Helping clients become more informed in all areas of their financial lives. With our checking and savings options and online and mobile banking, it's easier than ever to find the direction just right for you. Talk to us today about your banking needs. BBNT, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. So your policy looks good. Is there anything else? Why would you buy my husband a Falcon? I didn't buy anyone a Falcon. Saved us a lot of money on auto insurance. I used that money to buy a Falcon. There you go, you bought me a Falcon. Most people are supposed to stay on average about $480. What they do is they well. Oh, that explains a lot, actually. Another reason people switch to State Farm. Count on your local State Farm agent to find you savings. Get to a better state. Every day, we help businesses switch on again, drive again, reassemble so they might resume. We respond to chaos by recovering and rebuilding. Jobs, futures, a sense of security. We promise that we are ever mindful of the big picture. And it's not just about business. It's about people and possibilities. Belfour. Welcome back to the Winthrop Coliseum. Winthrop leads UNC Asheville 41 to 30. Are you making travel arrangements this winter? If so, earn double the rewards points when you stay with Choice Hotels. Yes, can earn airline miles plus Choice Privileges points anytime through the end of February. Couple this with the discount code from the Big South Conference and travel arrangements become much easier. For more information, visit BigSouthSports.com and start saving today. Ball goes inside. Here's the freshman, tries to operate. Andre Smith. You know they talked about defense in the Asheville huddle and they just got the turnover. Another turnover, that is their 16th. And Asheville answers it with a turnover. A little bit behind P.J. Penn, who's thrown down there. Ball goes inside, and instead of a layup for Horn, he travels. And he slid both feet, now we have a post presence inside. For Asheville, Jeremy Horn got in there to bother him and made him up. Lots of turnovers. You have too many turnovers. When you talk about Asheville, and uh, not shooting the ball well on the great defense by Winter. If Asheville shooting 42 percent, they have 48 percent field goal shooting two for the year. Stevenson, tough shot, rebound by the big fella. Horn goes and gets it. Knocked out of bounds. They'll keep possession. The only three point shooters they have, and you've got Hornsby, Tree, and Dickie on the game. You've got to be aware of that, especially in an imbalance situation. It's a two three zone by Winter. They've changed their defense. That's what they just realized they're right now. Inside the horn. Dickie pitches. Here's Hornsby. And he gets a bucket. Asheville really needed that. You get Dickie and Prim a chance to see what the defense is. They're going to attack it and attack it properly. Asheville stays with their press. Just about Winter going shooting way below their average. P.J. Prim's one for six from the field. Dickie's doing a new job at five for nine. Two bags, five for 15. That's 33 percent. Do you like it for the runner? Jones drives and gets called for the charge. Andre Jones puts it on the floor. It's called. He gave Prim a tough defender. He's a smart defender. He did 
thought Andrew Green was going to pull up that time. He took that extra jib and it cost him a foul. How about two veteran backcourts to that? Oh, no question. Dickey and Prim and then Jones and, and Middleton. And there's some good guys in the state, but I don't know if you're going to find four veterans playing the game ever. And these four. That's me. Prim with the upper number. He misses. One for seven. Tough guy for PJ. Andre Jones with the rebound. Pushes ahead. He's not used to seeing Luka play that way to fly up the third, but it's been effective for him in the playing well. Then the Georgia scored 82 points, I believe. Tried to get the ball to Valentine inside. Gets knocked out of bounds. Reggie Middleton comes back into the game. And Andre Smith will go up. Derrick Henry will inbound for Winthrop. Trying to get Jones off the stagger. Andre Jones working hard to try to get him. Dickey's trying to stop him from getting it. That's a good matchup. Five on the shot clock. There's that jump ball. George Valentine. Well, Coach talked about it yesterday in practice. Get the ball into the post. You don't have to shoot it, but we need post touches. Valentine keeps touching and keeps making his two points in. Back to an 11-point lead for the Eagles. Here's Hornsby with a three, and he gets it. Big three. I don't know if Prince's son can send by this guy, but he can shoot a nice three. That's his favorite spot, too, in the corner. Here's Jones. Andrew Jones is not a good night scoring, but you can't forget about him because he can make them in bunches. Now they got Hornsby on instead of Dickey. But he's got the other power to shoot. Good shot. Jones with the miss. Hornsby in transition. Dickey on the attack. Stevenson follows and fouls. Chris Stevenson tries to get the offensive rebound. Gets called for one. Good job of blocking out by Reggie Middleton. We'll see it after this initial miss. Middleton will go out and Stevens just goes over his back. You know, if he's blocked out, he's just right place at the right time. Number four, number four, there's the man who committed the foul. Reggie Middleton got fouled. Different press now. One, two, two, and they're going to trap out of it. This is Jerome all the way. Went 90 feet with that one. And there's the little runner in the lane by Derrick Henry, and he charges. And if nothing else, could will be going right back after this. Proud to stand on our own. Proud to be homegrown. A familiar face and a name you know. Come on. We know you. We know your needs. We know what being a neighbor means. Can you hear it? a new Marathon Visa credit card. You earn up to 25 cents per gallon off all Marathon purchases. Every day you face financial choices large and small. When you make the right choices, you head in the right direction. 
At bb and we've spent more than 135 years sharing our knowledge, helping clients become more informed in all areas of their financial lives. With our checking and savings options and online and mobile banking, it's easier than ever to find the direction just right for you. Talk to us today about your banking needs. bb and sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Welcome back to the Winthrop Coliseum. It's at bb and Big South game of the week. Winthrop leads by eight. Winthrop 11 assists to 17 no field goals. That's a great percentage. Anything over 50, 60 percent is huge. Here's Hornsby. Cram with the three. And he drills it. Same spot, different player. Last time Hornsby. That time J.P. Cram. Well, the pace, the press, excuse me, is speeding up into the road, but maybe a little out of their comfort zone unless they can convert here. That's how bad the reason Ashford did it, I'm sure. They finally get control of it. Now, shot clock inside 20 seconds. So, a little bit of what Ashford's trying to do there. Oh, post up Valentine. That jump hook's deadly. Five on the shot clock. Middleton misses everything. Shot clock violation. Great defense by Asheville. They pressed, they reduced the shot clock, they got an air ball. And that's another turnover. You know, turnovers have been a problem for Winthrop all year. That's their 20th of season high. They are 10th in the Big South in the assist to turnover ratio. So this won't help that. How can you wait? That's, I coach too many teams like that. That's why I don't have any hair that's why we're doing the drop <laughs> I'm with you, brother. You are coming. There's Stevenson. Fucking here be huge. Them just hit a three. Dickie knew it as soon as he hit him. Dickie did a little dribble handoff, tried to set a screen and popped him. Let me get it, Kenny. I love Matt Dickey with the basketball because he's always looking to score, but he'll find you if you're open. That was the third foul on Dickey. He's a set card from the bench by Coach Peel. There's the drive and the foul. James Bourne, charge. Pretty good call, I believe. Jeremy Horn was set. Jeremy Horn got nailed. Fans, be sure to visit BigSouthSports.com and check out the league's new online store. Gear up with officially licensed, licensed apparel from all Big South schools. That's the Big South online store at BigSouthSports.com. Stevenson, nice pass to Ramundu. Here's his jump hook. Soft touch, bucket. He's looking pretty Valentine, but it goes through the net, that's all it counts. Now just a three-point lead for Winthrop. The various presses have really sped up Winthrop's attack. Nice throws, a little bit in the driver's here. The momentum's definitely on their side of the bench. Middleton into the lane. Shoots the runner and gets it. Stevenson has a nice little runner there. And that's his game, isn't it? He loves to take it into the paint. He's big enough and strong enough to get the shot off and then convert. Nashville now on a 13-4 run. Gotten themselves back in this game now down five. Here's Graham in the lane. Finds Hornsby. That started out with the corner shot by Hornsby and three to get them done. That double play again. He lost it last time around. It's Andre Jones times where it is. Here's Jones. They call for the carry. He made that little hesitation move and, and then kept going. If you get your hand on the side of the ball, which they do 40 times a game. 50. And they call it once again. He threw the car early in the season and stopped. I'm going to criticize the officials now. I'm going to be wrong. Yeah, 
There you are. <laughs> I'm with you. I got your back. Can't you get a three on this side of the pitch. That's right. Inside, Wanunu gets it stripped away. And James Bourne tracks down the loose one. Trading turnover. Someone's got to score here. I just think it's Andre Jones time. I really do. He's the best player on this basketball court for his basketball team. He needs to make a bucket when they need one. And they need one now. And then they clock here. Interesting. Illegal screen. In fact, as the official called it, that's Chuck Elstrom. He says, same play. That's his second foul. It's been turnover, turnover, turn. Nobody scored. And I mentioned Winthrop's assist to turnover ratio, number 10 in the league. Asheville is number one in the Big South Conference. But they've got lots of turnovers, too. And there's another one. Good idea when he just wasn't really open. And he's going to break the streak here and score. Middleton to the rack, draws the foul. As you said, that's what he does. He's going to the line, try to break the ice here and make a, a couple points for his basketball team. Middleton will shoot two free throws when we come back after this. People everywhere are taking a stand and booking on choicehotels.com. I have the right to a guarantee that my rate is the lowest on the web. Do I ask for too much? Well, uh, sometimes. When I save 20% on my hotel, I do my happy day. Booking a hotel online needs to be easy. Wow. Book. Hello. It's your voice. It's yourchoicehotels.com. Get the best internet rate guaranteed and save up to 20% every day. Book now at choicehotels.com. Valentine's great jump hook here is one of them. Inside the paint, the man can pass to the right down the freshman for two. And then Valentine again for another. He leaves everybody in the building with 11 points so far today. Good Valentine. Reggie Middleton gets a free throw. He is a 68% foul shooter. So come in, they screwed well. Second one is in as well. Now a seven point lead for Winthrop. Think about putting points in the paint. Winthrop has 24 in the paint to Asheville's 18. How do they go down to passing or scoring? Graham in the lane, shoots the runner. Valentine comes out with the rebound. What a game he's having. There's a nice pass and the layup. Well, we're talking about Valentine scoring. He's responsible for that transition basket. Valentine with the rebound. Kicks it out to Middleton. Middleton flies up the floor. Great pass, great finish, and a chance for an end one for James Bourne. Hey, remember those old grinded out Winthrop Eagles? <laughs> that was your grandfather's Winthrop Eagle. My grandfather's Winthrop Eagle. 
Well, Valentine's ahead of his players, man. He's got everything going there because of the rebounds. Warren misses the free throw. He's got a nice game going, seven points, four rebounds. I'm mean, talking about the outlet pass. That was a great outlet was. pass to get it going as well. Stevenson. Oh, he caught it. Oh, they're going to call it five rebounds and caught the layup. I saw a boy Howard do that to uh, last night in Charlotte. Watch this foul. You know what some guys call that? It's a, you said he, let, they, he gloved it. It's exactly what he did. It was technical difficulty in replay, but trust me, that was impressive. Chris Stevenson at the line. 68% foul shooter. And that's not a guy that didn't go up high to shoot. He was Stevenson can get up there. There we go. Watch this. Nice pass. Stevenson thinks he's got a layup. Oh, he just he it. He it. That's a great call. He grabbed it. Stevenson, nine points. Make that ten. He didn't tell Bowie he'd be proud of that one. That was sweet. He's last filled with their second type of press. And you're right. Field. They have extended it to a more of a full court. And Stevenson... Hornsby and Dickey, very active three guards. And then J.P. Prim as well. There's four guards in the back court. Four guards lined up. Plus Hahn. Wilton. Dribbles through the trap. Gets trapped again. Dribbles through a second trap. Turnover. And a little too far with it. Got a little greedy. Yes, he did. A little out of control. You're exactly right. You need possessions right now. Seven point lead for Winkler. To advance that seven points. That's why, that's why Ashford's present to speed you up and turn you over. It's exactly what the guy has. Now the guy's turning the points. Stevenson with the three. And he makes it. Boy, that's huge. He's there to shoot that. He's good. And he's a 30% three point shooter. It's, a, it's a more than adequate. Very bad. That's a timeout by Randy Peel for Winkler. Well, I think Coach Peel is concerned, obviously, with the turnover last time. But the fact that I think he's going to tell me that Randy Peel's a big thing on we do what we do. And they're not letting them do what they do because of the pressure. Pressure by Asheville is causing, we talked about it many times, to speed the pace of the game up. And yes, when you have an advantage, you want to speed up, but when you don't, he's telling you, let's just run our stuff. So last time we broke the press, turned it over, because we got a little greedy, as you said, to, go to, to, uh, to put the analogy out there. But just run our stuff. Guys, we have the lead. We got six minutes to play. Don't give it back to him. Basketball 101 by Nate Ross. He is... He's not the hardest working coach I've ever He's met. among them. He's in the top five. He sure is. As soon as we got that pass, he got that pass. We talked for five minutes. He's got to watch tape. I said, Coach, go do your thing. And Randy Peel getting a little extra talk while Eddie Beatenbaugh talked to the, one of the officials. Stevenson comes off and nobody guards him. Yes, Valentine's got a long way to run, but you got to go out and guard him. He didn't. He got an easy three. I don't know what the situation is. They're checking on. He was way behind the three point. They're checking the monitor to see if it was a three or a two. I believe he was right behind it. There's a good look at Eddie Beatenbaugh in his 16th year. Let's take a look at this, that last three. Was he behind the line or not? Tough angle there to see if the up top angle is a little better earlier. The officials are checking the monitor over the scores table to see just that if the, the shot was from the three-point line. I believe it was. And you can see Matthew Potter checking it out. He was a... She looks like it was. It's hard to tell there, but it looks like it was. And he's also at a spot where that shot was taken, which is right next to the official on the side. So I believe they got that one. Correct, that is a three point shot. And they're checking with the shot clock as well, and I just read his lips. He said he used to have a restaurant with the TV on and never the sound, so I'm like a genius of reading lips now. And um, he said, well, let's put it at 26. So they were checking the time. Yeah, shot clock time. 
Because of the timeout that was called by uh, Coach Pitt, they want to make sure they got it right. And they did. With the ball with a four-point lead. Now, great opportunity here because you can run what you want. You got 26 seconds for the Jeff Turner shot clock on the show. And the set you want if you went to it. Pick and roll around, turn it Loose ball, Prim gets it, calls timeout. Got the stop they wanted. Now he gets the same opportunity because of the timeout of the JP the, uh, Prince call the timeout. He can run exactly what he wants since he can get a good shot. He's actually doing that now. Lots of ball screens. There's one to be on the drive. Shoots a runner one-handed, no good. In the wild tip, who gets that one? I believe it was Stevens he got up there. I saw him in the four jersey getting that better play. So just keep it alive. This is him that went in. Here we go again. Right back in the big bucket. Here's Jones. Mr. Smooth, I love the way he shoots. He's really smooth and he buries that one. Not a lot of points, but that's a big one momentum wise. Well, he's had, he scored his double figures every single game this year. Pass inside the hole. Pass to play and that's blocked. That's Valentine with the block. Stevenson takes it inside. And as he tries to gather himself, he travels. George Valentine watched this, but leaves his man, smacks the ball against the glass. Asheville kept it, but then they travel. What a great play to find the basketball, even though your man isn't shooting it, and keep it. A lot. A brilliant unorthodox block. Very much. Very much. And welcome for him to travel because Ashfield got him no reset because he didn't get in, but Ashfield got it back. There's the trap off the glass. Pass opposite. Here's Derrick Henry. And the hooker Andy Pierre's in front. We're not attacking, guys. We're running what we won now. Clock's in our favor. Just inside five minutes. Here's Jones with the drive. Off glass. Up shot. He's feeling it now, smacked himself in the chest. It's crunch time, and he is the crunch player for the guys in the white shirts. He's as good as anybody I've seen this year. Very smooth, sir. Turnover. Stevenson looking for Bram or Hornsby just... With the uprights there. It's interesting. I, mean, I think I've looked over the coach and pointed to himself, like, call this one for me. He's made the last two. I called for him as well. I thought he was going to foul the last and then foul him, but he scored. He's an excellent player. Tough pass for Oscar just to add to the turnovers that they've had tonight. But that man knows it's only a six point game. There's a ton of time left. Telling everybody, if they go back to Andre Jones, we got a guard in this time. And we talked about turnovers throughout this game. Both teams right now on season high for turnovers. UNC Asheville with 19, Winter with 25. And now it's crunch time officially. Five minutes to go. Or inside five at uh, 425 to go. 25 in deep possession. You need to get a shot. Or you charge or whatever, but it's just drives you nuts as a coach. Mm, let's watch Tony now. I like him. I'm great going to see what he gets here. He touches and he shoots him out of six. Six point lead. Great winter. That's 
Derrick Henry with the three. Good shot, wide open. Nashville with a chance to cut into this lead. And he travels. Now 20 turnovers for UNC Asheville. 25 for the game. With the leads, 53 to 47. We'll be back after these messages. Every day, we help businesses switch on again, thrive again, reassemble so they might resume. We respond to chaos by recovering and rebuilding. Jobs, futures, a sense of security. We promise that we're ever mindful of the big picture. And it's not just about business. It's about people and possibilities. Belfour. The path to financial freedom needs to be clearer. You want to be confident in your choices every step of the way. At bb and we've spent more than 135 years sharing our knowledge, helping clients manage their day-to-day -day finances and reach their long-term financial goals. When you're better informed, you head in a brighter financial direction. Talk to us today about where your money can take you. bb and sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Yeah, he makes his feet there, they're one shot away from town. 
turnovers with Curio. Those empty possessions. Here comes the press. Uh, he makes both. Usually. One, two, two. Press. Quick trap. Pass to Plan. They turn it over. Dickey with the drive. Inside to the big throw. It's hard. Muscles going up. And he gets the bucket. Great patience to not rush your shot inside. Hard finish. Let's take a look at this. Asheville with the four-point press. That was a really smart play by Dickey, or by Tim. I mean, he catches it in front of him in back court. And now Dickey finds open people. Goes baseline to the corner. Horn pokes up. Horns be the horn. Horn the horns be the horn. That's a good thing for a law firm. Big man pokes this a great angle. You can see he catches it and then throws it in his teammate in the front court. Drive. Layup. Asheville's right back in this thing. One point basketball game. Here we go, just a Mr. Cumber. They're not going to stop pressing. And I, I've seen UNC Asheville play a couple times this year. They have not pressed like this in a lot of their games. And it's often hard to press on the road. Absolutely. The difference because he gives them a post presence because they don't have it five dogs. They stay in the in the press. The great thing is the really athletic player and JP Quinn is the back line defender. But you normally don't have a channel of three in there, but they only four dogs, and one of them very hard to push back to catch the ball. Jones stops and pops. Oh, net. How nice is that? That's as good as it gets right there. Drive, stop, and pop. And he's feeling it now. And he didn't elevate. You can tell his foot's hurt. Stevenson tries to go up and draw one, and he does. He ends up getting the foul. Give me a great finish. You got Jones at one end. You got Dickie distributing the other end. Stevenson takes it inside. Straight up and leaning into him. Good call down the bottom. The arms did come down. That's a four fouls on, on Valentine. First foul shot for Stevenson is good. How many times has it come down to free throws down the stretch? Stevenson, another one of those double-figure scores for Asheville, averaging just over 12 a game. Taking more than, took more than he took him down, come on, he just said, get ready. He's just going to play a little offense defense here. He now has 17 points, four rebounds, three assists. Pretty good numbers. Here's Jones on the attack. Misses the shot. There's a big rebound and back in Jones' hands. More importantly, a new shot clock. But they did not reset. They did not reset the shot. I thought it hit the rim. Make it hard for him to catch it. 
it. They're going to get it to him. They're going to trap him. Smart move. Here's Morgan. Baseline jump off. Well, that was good defense, and Morgan has been shooting a lot to the foul trouble. Made a big time jumper right there. And, you know, that's a senior making a play when he needed to. Three point lead. And Valentine's not in the game here. Graham with the drive, and he scores. Back to one point. We got us a ball game. Oh, it's the big NBA big finish. Cross court pass. Here's Andre Jones. Left handed layup. And gets it. Well, he had it against Horn. No, he's going to take it right to the rim. He's as smooth as he gets in this leg. Dickey with the ball. Got a 10 second difference in the game clock and the shot clock. Here's, here's Dickey. Looking for three. That's what he's trying to do. Heinz Horns beats. Tough shot. Oh, and on the block. And they count it. They were looking for a three point shot, but Winter played phenomenally good defense. They didn't get that opportunity. Hornsby did get the opportunity to score, and now he's got a free throw to try to tie what this a thing up. Tough shot. Dickey with the pass across. He tries to get behind the line, it's not there. You can see the good defense by Andre Jones, and he drives, scores, and this one, if it goes, they'll tie it up. Hornsby coming into today, 45% from the foul line, now has 11 points with that made free throw. Those were three huge points for him. Went for a one-point lead. There's Jones, drives. And they call a foul. They called a charge on the charge. You think they hold it for one in a tie game, but Andre Jones saw an opening, and there's Jay D. Quinn, a happy man by drawing the charge. You can live on defense. They've got to play right here if they want to play five more minutes. And since we were scoreless to start this one, this is our first tie of the game. 14.6 seconds to go. Let's watch. Quick timeout. So with 13 ticks to go. I'm thinking out of the box here, Coach. Okay, who are you? Eddie Beatenbar or are you Randy Peel right now? I'm Eddie Beatenbar right here. They know Dickie Prim. Hornsby's going to have the ball. I like Horn on a little pick and roll here. The big man's been very effective inside. Dickey will find the open man. Of course Dickey wants to shoot it because he's a very good player. So you've got so many different options. We talked about in the open. I'll ask for averages five guys in double figures. So if you're on the other side of the court and you're really deal, who do you guard? Well, you better guard them all because they're all capable of scoring. They're all capable of making threes. They're all capable of driving. And that's a great point, but do you do this? Because there's 13 seconds to go in the game, I don't think Woodward's going to foul, obviously. Now, so, you and see Asheville has enough time to, you can run a play, but you've got a couple chances to drive and dish and, and try and open somebody up. And more times than not, it's not the first shot to beat you. It's the offensive tip. But you don't want to take that shot and allow Winthrop time to score if it wins. Yeah, which is exactly... But Andre Jones just did, even if he would have scored, he gets him over 13, he gets him 13 seconds. They didn't know about the total right now. Uh, Andy Peel talked to practice after, they're going to drive the ball, we've got to guard the basketball. He's got to do it now if they want to go to overtime. You know, if uh, Asheville has not led in this game since there was 13 minutes to go in the first half, so that would be a good time to lead for them. 13 seconds to go in this one. Let's listen in. A lot of scores on the floor in black shirts. There's play. Dickey. Five seconds. There's your guy Horn. Horn with the miss. You called it, Nate Ross. Well, I don't know if he's behind the card on and he ended up with a pretty good look and it just rimmed out. Let's take a look. Dickey smartly didn't walk with the basketball. Watch Horn, there he is, top of the circle. He slips the screen. He's open from 16 and he doesn't hesitate. Nice form. Just a 
just rolls out. Clock expires. Free basketball. Now we look at it. Pretty good shot. Where's yes, a good shot? And Dickie finds it open. He does it over and over and over again. We're going to go to overtime, folks. We're all tied up at 61. We will be back. There's a look at Eddie beaten by the huddle with his preseason first place team, the reigning champions, and they're one and zero in league. They won the first game, league game of the year at Gardner Webb in early December. And they they got a chance now to still want to go two and zero. Well, and they've got to feel like the momentum's on their side, even though they just missed that shot. Because they we talked about, we just talked about, last time they had a lead was nine eight. They haven't had a lead in forever. But now they're back in it, and this man knows we just gave up the lead, but we didn't lose a basketball game, guys. We got five minutes to win in an hour building in our league. Let's go get let's go get them. People don't practice jump balls a lot. This is when they're important. Because Absolutely. if you get it and you score, you get the lead with five minutes to win. Some of those are those stat freaks. The team that wins the tip in overtime does win something like 60% uh, of the time. It just gives them one more possession. Oh, absolutely. And, and with all the turnovers today, one more possession could be huge. Valentine got a lot of rest at the end of that game, too. So now he's back in a little fresher than most people. With the, with the possession. Stevenson thought he kind of jumped on that and got a play right up there. But nonetheless, we play on. You find up the worst crowd. I think they're a little exhausted. Huh. After the way it finished. Patience by Winthrop. There's Middleton. Loves to drive. Pulls and shoots. And hits it. That's a three point shot. And a make off the screen. It's screen by Valentine. He's done it all, Mr. Valentine. He's got a bad shoes on the perimeter. Small and much quicker. He answers with his own three, so we're tied again. How about that? Now we're getting loose. And uh, uh, he shoots a fadeaway. I don't think he's capable. Here's the press. This is what got us for back in the basketball game, this press. You can steal every time it's still enough to get in. Jones got in trouble, got out of trouble. Now it's Reggie Middleton. Joe have Jerome. Little weave on the outside to open the curves. Andre Jones lost it. That's a good call. We're off so we're off a black shoe for Asheville, I believe. That's the way the left saw it as well. Twelve seconds on the shot clock. Winthrop keeps possession. There's the miss. Winthrop comes up with it. New shot clock. We oh, had a great play. Into Valentine. He missed the three-footer. This is Winthrop's second overtime this year. First overtime affair for the Bulldogs. Winthrop just had one last game if I'm not mistaken. At Georgia. Tuesday night. There's the miss by Valentine. Stevenson, I believe, blocked it. Buckets are tough to come by here. Yes, they are, especially inside. They're through each way, but inside's tough. One right shot block is on the Dickey with the drive. J.P. Prim. Miss and a Valentine rebound. I've seen that a few times today. Effective on the boards. A soft jumper. There was a hand on that ball up in the cylinder, but no call. I saw Valentine run down the floor after the rebound and 
watched him. He went right to the rim. He knew the shot was going up. He got it. He's going to save the shot to play again. He just missed the three-footer. Let's take a look. Watch Valentine comes down the pitcher on the right side, right to the rim, grabs it after the tip and gets hammered. That's good play for a big guy. We said he was going to rest it because he didn't play the last couple minutes of regulation. That foul was on Stevenson. It's just hustle. I mean, most big guys hang at the top of the circle. He just gets in there, mixes it up, and now it's going to get the opportunity to pay it off with a couple of free throws. George Valentine at the line, 6'8", 235-pound senior from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Shoots the teardrop. He had trouble to get it. some of the old buildings because it's so That's right. a little too low. Well. That he now has 12 points, seven rebounds. Is that a nice game? That one's on net. He can win that with a seven point seven rebound this year. They don't need any late flight. Three point lead. There's the miss by Dickey and then the maker by Jeremy Hart. Hart is just really good inside. He doesn't look flashy, he just gets the job done. He's a red shoot junior. That's a big bucket. We're tied up again. Tied up against Andre Thomas. Two minutes to go in this first overtime. Andre Jones with a really tough defender on his victory. Reggie Middleton finds Jones. Shoots the three. Off the front of the rim, there's the rebound. New shot clock, most importantly. You can see at the top of your screen, there's Coach Pierce setting another, calling another set. Middleton. He hit a three coming off the screen a little bit ago. Misses that one. J.P. Perrin brings it up. A minute and a half to go. Guy for a shot clock and threw it up real quick. Dickey got fouled. Got hammered, in fact. And the official closest to the play didn't call it. You can see his right eye. He got hit right in the right eye. I don't know if it was an elbow. You can see Matt Dickey drives. Oh, we'll see it. Right? catch this ball. Watch this. Oh, he got an inadvertent in the face. Then his left eye, excuse me. He was just trying to get the ball, but he knocked it down. He was hit in the face, he usually go down. That was the fourth foul on Middleton. Fouls have to be an issue here. You can, see his, you can see his right eye is a little, uh, not bloody, but it's a little confused. Maybe the word. <laughs> One eye. He's a do-it-all player. He's got 14 points, six rebounds, three assists. Tough kid. He's an 80% foul shooter, and he knocks that one. I was thinking, of course, of the great athletes that we lost this year, and Smoking Joe Frazier was one of them. Man, he won about 40 times for a human game. Good shot. Let's go. You would see Ashford with a two-point lead. No cross. Interesting. He's going to play off court and top. Randy Peel calls timeout, and we'll take one with him. Ashford leads by two in overtime. We'll be right back. Visa credit card. You earn up to 25 cents per gallon off all marathon purchases. As a business owner, you need to choose the financial direction that's best for you. To find a clear path to growth and success. At bb and we support businesses of all sizes with personal service and advice. Sharing the sound financial knowledge we've gained over more than 135 years. So you can move ahead with confidence. 
talk to us today about your business goals. BB&T, winner of 19 Greenwich Excellence Awards for Business Banking, more than any other bank. Press. 
That was Dickey's 16th point. He'll have one free throw when he comes back. And we're going to keep it right here. It's Coach Pierce's last timeout, so we think we're done with timeouts. But you got to ice the shooting. you got to do something to Dickey. Plus, you want to run what you want to run coming down the floor with under 20 seconds uh, to go in this one. But a lot different if UNC Asheville makes the free throw. It's a four-point lead. Winthrop wants to probably score real quick, and, and, but big difference, two possessions, one possession. Okay, you need points, and you don't have any time out for that if you're uh, Winthrop, I believe, so yeah, this is a great time to give somebody like Middleton the ball again and just let him go to the win. The best thing that can happen if you're Winthrop, that he makes it you're not, is to score and get fouled. Because you stop the clock, you go to the line. But nonetheless, you've got to score and jump on him, and he's telling him who we're going to foul, who Enough for us. I mean, it drives me nuts. You know Dickens is going to free throw shooter. Make somebody else catch the ball and then foul him. Especially with the limited time you're going to have left. Even if you score quickly, it's going to be around 15 seconds to go. So there's a lot of things to be going over in both huddles. But Steven Ball, of course, is telling these guys, subliminally, you bring this up. After Matt makes this free throw, not if, but after he makes it, get back on defense. We're just going to see if he'll put people in the lane or if he'll. Put them back there anyway, so they're set to play defense. And again, Winthrop does not have a timeout remaining. UNC Asheville has won. So Matt Dickey, preseason Big South Player of the Year, at the line. Winthrop needs points. If you have a dead open three, I would take it. Otherwise, I would go to the win because you want to get foul to try to stop it. Makes it. The rest of you can't have to throw a time to shoot it. Four point lead. To the rim. Special play, flare screen for Jones. Blocks the three, and that's Dickey with the block. Ran a special play for Andre Jones. Got a look, but Dickey blocked. Well, we talked about the preseason team to win this thing, and it didn't look like they had a shot in the first half. But because of the leadership they have in seniors, and Coach Beatonba talked to us about his seniors. Dickey makes a great play right here, blocking without fouling. He told us before the game when we were speaking with him that they just know what's going on out there. So they're my freshmen, though. But my seniors know what's going on, and they lead us. And the seniors have led him today, Dickey and Tim. Matt Morgan just fouled out with 11 points, one rebound. Here's... A very good player, J.P. Prim. This is the first free throw. And all this thing started with the freshman horns. Remember in the left corner at this end? Hit that three to get them going a little bit. But then it was Dickey and Prim and Stevenson doing a great job for them. Prim has had another really solid game. 12 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. Now has 13 points. Now you got to hurry. 5-point lead. Middleton. Misses the three. Jones shoots, and it's the ball game. A big win for Eddie Beatonbaugh and his UNC Asheville Bulldogs. They moved to 2-0 in the Big South. Didn't get a lead till very late. Great Big South game. We've got a lot more to come. A great finish. We'll wrap this up when we come back. Asheville wins a thriller in overtime. Trains our staff to install your battery fast and free. Battery testing and installation fast and free. Advanced Auto Parts. Service is our best part. Wipers, go! It's a simple word. Six letters, two syllables. But its meaning is powerful. Leader. On the playing field, in the classroom, in our communities. Without great leaders, nothing can ever be accomplished. We develop leaders through athletics. We are the Big South Conference.
Night South Conference game is brought to you in part by Choice Hotels. We'll see you there. By Belfour USA, the worldwide leader in disaster recovery and property restoration. And by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. This Big South Conference game is brought to you in part by Choice Hotels. We'll see you there. By Belfour USA, the worldwide leader in disaster recovery and property restoration. And by State Farm Insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back at Winthrop Coliseum and UNC Asheville wins a thrower in overtime. He's got five seniors, they were all in double figures. He was led by Dickey and Stevenson Ash for a great win. We're happy new year to everybody. Be safe and enjoy 2012. UNC Asheville 73, Winthrop 68. For Nate Ross, I'm Ralph Patterson saying so long and happy new year. On my journey across America, I've learned that when you ask someone in Texas if they want...